Railroad and Trolley Museum. The Memphis Train Museum is at a new crossroads. Relocating? Will it soon be in another city? June 2022 is supposed to be the end of the line. Last day to see it. And uh, uh, during that period, narrow gauge railroads proliferated in Colorado and New Mexico and some of those areas due to a lot of mining going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't see many narrow gauge railroads left. You just see basically uh, separate their, their track into what are called blocks. And at the beginning of each block, they have a signal, and that tells what's going on in that block. Now, if you get a green signal, it means you're clear ahead, proceed at track speed, no problem. If you get a yellow signal, it means the block you're entering doesn't have anything in it, but the next block does. So you go to restricted speed. And then if you get a red, it means there's something in that block and you need to stop right away. The, the railroads use different kinds of signals over the years. Uh, uh, they use these, these were called semaphores. This is actually a door semaphore, which is not very common. Semaphore, the, the yeah, wall Yeah, usually most of, yeah, sand. yeah. Most semaphores are a lot longer than this. This is pretty mm -hmm. short because it's a door. Um, but uh, the semaphore, the idea is that the, the light is more effective at night, whereas the, the uh, semaphore flag is more effective during the day. And, uh, and if you have a combination of both, that's even better. Um, and then another type of signal they use was this one. Today, most railroads use variations of this signal here, and the reason why is these are all mechanical, and railroads don't like anything mechanical. They don't, we rather not mess with them uh, because they have to be fixed, they need to be uh, lubricated and stuff like that. So they like these because they're all electronic. So you won't see much of these around anymore. You may still see some of these, but not many of them. Mm -hmm. Here's our uh, kids corner here. Here's Thomas as well represented in there. Telegraph, the railroads employed telegraphs extensively almost from the time they were first became available. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of the, the reason is they used them as a kind of a means to uh, communicate with their uh, train crews and there was a way they had of doing that. Yeah, a train order, the railroads had to get, and what they would do is the station would have a signal kind of like this here, and they would set, if there was a train coming and they needed to give them an order, they would put the signal up to tell the crew to slow down because they were getting ready to have to have an order. Well, what would happen is the, the uh, dispatcher using the telegraph would send the messages and they put them would write out what we call form 19s and these were actually uh, forms that they would write the train order out on and of course the paper was very thin partly because they had to write out a bunch of copies they had to use carbon paper they would put the train order on here and they would hoop, they call it hooping it up they'd have to hold it up and the, 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 the engineer or the fireman would grab it and then he had to use another one because the fellow the conductor in the caboose also had to grab it he had to have a train order as well he kind of ran but it did the job mm -hmm.